this is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim. Today Vegas is on vacation in an undisclosed place, somewhere in a big old fancy palace, and I'm here to give the aftermarket report. Today's hot runners we were going to talk about it was Adele, A-D-I-L, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about the pot sector, Nile, U-X-I-N, and G-E. So first I want to pull up the penny watch list, which you see right here, we have Cali, K-A-L-I on top of the list. This is an OTC scan I use on TOS from .001 to 50 cents. So I got to looking at Cali today, and we had a couple others that looked pretty good today. But Cali was number one, had real good volume and a real short float. So I'm going to pull that one up right now, and we called this thing out, I think, oh, it was a couple days ago through. We've been on this thing for a long time, and it's bounced, and we had a pullback, and I'm going to pull up the 20-day chart. But here we go, and we started and here in the last four days. We had a great run, and today was the big run, and I blame this all on the farm bill. K-A-L-Y. So take a good look at Cali. Keep it on your watch. I'm going to pull up a one-day, one-minute chart. Called this breakout right here. When we saw this little kissy-kissy on the 100 SMA with the 50. And it bounced right up. I had a 15-cent target on this thing. And we hit 14.9. So I thought that was pretty good. Then we pulled back to the 200 SMA and bounced off of it, hit the 100, and pulled back to that 200 again and bounced on up and hit the 14.2 at close. So I'm very bullish on Cali, and with Cali, you want to keep a good eye on Pura. Because I think Pura is at a bottom. And I'm going to pull up, oh, let's pull up a three month or at least a 20 day. We had the big breakout up here around 14.5. Now Puro ran all the way up to 25 cents. And we called that thing when it's down here at 5 cents, right about in here. I was watching Timothy Sykes' video, and so I said, hey, Vegas, let's take a look at this one. I kind of like it. He kind of threw it to the side, but I'm very bullish on these pot stocks. So they had a target. Analysts came out and analyzed it at 25 cents a share, and bam, man, we hit that 25, and it pulled right back to support. So we've kind of hovering down here. I think the farm bill is going to bring this back up. I want to see it back up there at 10 cents. We're at 8.3 right now. Might be a good entry for you. But let's take it back to 8.3, and any, anything past 10 cents will be a gift. So always put that caution flag right there on 10 cents on Pura. And the next one I want to talk about will be Cron. Cron's very bullish. But it's been having a little pullback here since that last run. And that was yesterday. And the news that's coming out on this is just wonderful. I just love the news on this stock. So here we are. I'm going to show a 10 day. We had this low for 840 here, and it bounced up, and then we had the breakout. Now it's consolidated and pulled back. And I think it's consolidated in a pretty good little level right here. Well, I got in this thing today at around, oh, I think it was around 10, 1109. I mean, I got in it cheap. 1109, and it bounced all the way up to about 140, and I went ahead and got out of it a little under 140 took a small profit but I had a core position on this too under 10 bucks so I sold all my shares I'll probably get back in it again tomorrow but we're going to see the action on Cron and then Tillery somehow the shorts got their way T-L-R-Y and today it pulled all the way back to 71 bucks I think I'm going to see 50 on this and then it's going to retrace but we had a nice little retracement today from this 72 39 area all the way back to that 77 so that's a good five cent bounce and it's pulled back so keep four of those four on stock they're some of my favorites along with cgc and then i'm going to talk about adele a d i l had a 
wonderful day today. Just wonderful. It didn't stop. Called it right out of the gate. I started noticing the volume, and then right before I knew it, we already already hit the float at share rotation. And I think it went over about five times maybe today on volume. That very nice volume on the stock today. I mean, 28 million, and the float's under five. So that tells you a pretty good rotation. So I'm out of it. This thing looks like it ran up a little bit more after hours. So maybe we can take it back up to this resistance at 470. And if we can break out 470, we're going to touch 5. And 5 will be the spot where we really have to concentrate. I would probably go ahead. Now, I'm not in it right now. I took my profit today, but this was my baby of the day. And that's ADIL. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about Nile. It's getting a lot of option power. We had a low here at 667, oh, just about a week week ago, and it ran all the way up today, past my, well, I got a resistance at 824. That was a previous high. So we bounced up a little bit after hours. This thing likes to pull back. If it does, let's see if we can get back here to this 50 SMA right around 754, and that's Nile. I'm bullish on it. I've China play, I think it, sympathy play with Tesla. But with the China war, it kind of brought it down. But this stock is going to go a long ways, and that's going to be Nile. And then I want to talk about UXIN. UXIN has been a great stock. It's ran really well. It's ran up, pulled back just a little, ran up, pulls back, run up, pulls back, runs up. And then we started seeing a little bit more volatility on this day right here it pulled back more than it probably I probably wanted it to but it did pull back to that previous high that earlier that day so every every day it bounced above that same as here see pulled back and almost hit that previous high so now we're on a downtrend we had a real good sell off on this thing today and then here at the end of the day people in the room got in it and it bounced up and hit that 50 SMA so this is UXIN. I'm still bullish on it. I think the correction today was a very nice correction. And if I'd have been watching this stock, I didn't even think about it today. If I'd have been watching it, I probably would have got in on the, at the end of the day here. It took this bounce back up here to this, this level at 697. So that's UXIN. Keep it on watch. And then the last one I want to talk about is going to be GE. Now GE, look at this baby. G has been called at the bottom. It had an upgrade today. I think dividends payments a penny or something. So it's not really much. But I'm going to be paying real close attention to this stock from here on out. If it can pull back to around 7, I'm going to probably go ahead and jump in this thing. 7, 709, somewhere is, that's where my support's going to be on the stock for right now. If it goes below that, it's probably going to be a strong buy. But I can't believe General Electric is down here at $7.20. I used to play watch this stock when it was at $150. And then it would split down to $75, and then it would bounce right back up, and it repeatedly done that. And here we are now at $7.22. I thought I had a good buy on it when I was in at 18 so I ended up taking a small loss on GE. And then... I haven't played it since, but now we got a little upgrade. You can see what the upgrade did for it, the, and it pulled back during the day, consolidated. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with this tomorrow. I'm not in it right now, and that's General Electric. So, again, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell so you can get our updates on our videos. Vegas is currently on vacation right now, and she should be back very soon. I sure miss her. She's popped in the chat room a couple of times, and it's just nice to have a partner with you that can, a trading partner that can really uh, benefit you a lot. She's the upper, my upper best half, and I'm the chart guy. So, Vegas, I hope you have a good time over there, and this is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim. 
Today's date is December the 13th, 2018, and I love stocks. And I wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Okay.